Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be installing Splunk into, the, into my environment. I've already set up a Ubuntu server to install it onto. The reason why we're installing it here is because uh, in order to do PXGrid with, between ICE and Splunk later on, it needs to be installed in something on top of a platform that supports the cryptographic keys and the encryption. In this case, it would have to be either Mac OS X or, or Linux. And so I'm installing it into Ubuntu to do so. I'll have a later video where we're going through the actual configuration of PXGrid, but for now we're just going to start out with the installation of Splunk. I've already gone ahead and inst uh, downloaded Splunk from the site. There's a free 90-day uh, trial if you wanted to try it yourself. So let's go ahead and pull up our downloads. And I'm just going to open in Terminal and we'll go ahead and start this installation off. Uh, let's just go ahead and list the files there. So to install this, we're just going to have to do sudo dpackage i and then specify the, the dev file. And this is after I go ahead and enter my password. It's going to go ahead and uh, install it and ins uh, um, unpackage it and install it. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to uh, complete. Okay, now that it's completed, we'll go ahead and start the, the uh, service for Splunk. Actually, if you want to see where it's installed into, um, ls Yeah, you can see here it's Splunk is now installed there. So let's go ahead and start the service. It's going to be the Splunk service, and we'll just go ahead and start that. And I'll go ahead and agree with the license. Add the admin. I'm just going to call it admin and enter a password. Now, in order to go to it, my so my IP address for my my Splunk server is 10.1.100.20, and we're just going to go ahead and go in under port 8000. And you see here it's the first time signing in, so we're going to use our credentials that we just set during the installation. going to save the password. You can choose to improve Splunk software if you'd like here, but I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and click okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over to settings. So right now you can see everything sent in clear text. So let's go to server settings. And under general settings, we can go ahead and enable SSL. There we go. I'm going to click save and it's going to ask me to uh, restart this, the uh, Splunk service in order to use that SSL certificate. So give it a moment. And as you can see here, I'm now using the self-signed certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed. And now I can go ahead and sign in and it's not all in clear text. So this is just a short little video where we went through the actual installation of Splunk. It's, it's fairly easy. If you wanted to just set it up in your, in your lab, you download, I would download Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu desktop, get the, uh, get the free 90-day trial of Splunk Enterprise and install it on there. And as you can see, it was pretty easy to install. Once it's downloaded, you just go ahead and 
and, and install it. Make sure that you walk through the actual service installation and uh, and set your username and password, and then you can turn on SSL. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and then we'll start on the next Splunk video after this.